The tradition of clipping coupons has now turned into clicking coupons. Daily deal sites like Living Social, Tuango, and Groupon generated a lot of buzz in 2011 and have proven to be widely popular with consumers. In fact, Groupon has grown to over 50 million subscribers in 44 countries worldwide and is even listed on the stock exchange. Alia Adam is in studio to talk to us about this growing trend. Ali, what is the deal with Groupon? Well, Chris, Groupon offers great rebates on restaurants, retail stores, spas, theaters, and so much more. What's more appealing than scoring a $100 massage for $25 or grabbing a meal valued at $50 for $15? People love discounts. But how can local businesses possibly benefit from these deals? The service promises valuable new customers guaranteed. So I spoke to a couple of merchants around Montreal to find out if Groupon really lives up to its end of the bargain. At Pearl White Solutions, Celine Elfasi's phone never stops ringing. Booking hundreds of appointments at a time, her teeth whitening company is busier than ever. You the first time when I sold 800 for those 3 days, my phone was it was insane. I couldn't like I couldn't do anything. It was people were people were calling and hanging up on the other person and it was like I, I couldn't. I was freaking out. So yeah, it is, it is overwhelming a little bit if you can't handle it. Her secret? Advertising on Groupon.ca, an online coupon site that leads a $5 billion industry, sending discounts from local businesses directly to the inbox of its millions of subscribers. Once the ticking timer is up and enough penny pinchers have bought the offer, the deal is on. Basically, the price is $300 for three treatments, and we're doing it for $49. So, I mean, it's a... It's a good deal, yeah. It's a very good deal. In the past four months, she sold 2,000 Deal of the Day vouchers. But with the 50% cut that Groupon takes, plus her own expenses, what does she end up with? You know, I don't make that much money out of it. I really don't make any money out of it. It's really just to get myself known, to get myself out there, and hopefully get a database and keep those clients in the next years and the years to come. Celine was so happy with the turnout at her business that she recommended her brother, David, sign his company up too. Kono Pizza opened up shop less than five months ago. The owner says his goal was simply getting people to try their reinvented pizza. We're not making money with Groupon, obviously it's a lost leader. We're trying to get people through the door to experience our product, experience our location, get to know about our service, and, and really get them introduced and, and interested in the brand. Thank you. You're welcome, enjoy. The service might be great, and the food, well, delicious. But the problem is, customers don't often come back to the same place. Instead, they move on to the next deal, at the next business. I mean, you, it's opportunity. You have it, you have the coupon, it was like for a certain amount, and then you use it, and that's it. The only reason I got that was because it was so much less on Groupon. So if Groupon were to um, have the same deal or better for that same massage place, I would go back, but not on my own, like without the deal. An issue that this marketing expert says could potentially put companies in hot water. Um, my opinion is you're not going to get a lot of long-term customers using this. Uh, and if you do end up acquiring a long-term customer, their demands are going to be very different because now they're expecting sales all the time. On top of that concern, the more coupons sold, the faster and more likely your business is to get swamped. If you're going to do it, you have to be prepared for um, a huge, huge demand. Um, so you need to be prepared for all possible situations that you might get one person through your door or you may get 10,000 people through your door. The kind of influx that the staff at Clinic Marika Medispa know firsthand. They're fully booked till April. Really the problem I'm having right now is people oriented and having the people out there buying coupons understand that if you buy over in one day there's 150 or 200 coupons sometimes you, you can even have five or six hundred coupons over a weekend it's impossible to answer those people in a 24-hour time frame. While Groupon promises businesses a win-win situation Martina says she sees it more as a catch-22. Where it's not working is when I have to start increasing my staff and start increasing my costs because then you lose money. Yet because the daily deals are a growing trend, she has no choice but to sign up to beat her competition. And you see them. Every day you go on any of these sites, they're filled with spas. So obviously it's, it's not, we're kind of almost forced to do it because the client is going to come and say, yeah, but you know, we've got, we can buy a coupon there. So you have to make a quick decision and say, okay, do I want this client here? Or do I want them elsewhere? 
Walsh doesn't buy the Groupon business model. She says unless they make some changes, the shares will continue to sink and group coupons may end up being a passing fad. Interesting to see how that will, how it will play out. It, it may grow if there are these conditions put into place. So let's say those smaller companies get together and say, you know, we should have a, we should be able to control the limit. If that happens, maybe you'll start to see people turning a profit because now we don't need to worry about handling the worst case scenario of 10,000 people walking in our door. So that's... Uh, that could maybe change the way Groupon is structured, which may make it a more profitable company. But as is, it's difficult to see it being a profitable company in the long run.